it's been well over a year since this old pig has started and it's always been a cold weather beast super stubborn which is why we're bump starting it kicking a 500 in tennis shoes is not a smart idea get some speed going oh man wow that eats ass all right so we got the work boot on we're going for old school here come on baby you got 500 to kick oh, <laughs> Supposed to be working, right? Oh. oh, that smells good. Got choke on or off? On. You need it off now? It smells pretty fat. It's your bike. I need to work in a sweat, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, we'll be right back. We're gonna take it. Oh, no, we're not. He's going right back in. Choke off! Say that thing was flooded. Look what came out of the exhaust pipe. <laughs> yeah, we should be working. But instead, we're towing. I don't even see what I'm shooting at. There we go. We're towing. Uh, it sounds like we fouled the plug. Take two. So it's 8.11. See, I got no service up here. No service. I like it. Oop. Oh, here, look at this. Okay, this was a little out of our plan. And shh, don't tell my wife we're going to go into town tomorrow and, uh, and get secrets. I have to tell you tomorrow. Okay. So here's the floor we're going to fix. Those tiles are broken. I got to pull those out and replace them. Get some lights on in this place. We replaced this floor in the house a couple of years ago. A couple of years ago, at least two years. I can't remember exactly. Unfortunately, the added weight of the subfloor, which is half-inch tile board, and these 18 by 18 tiles caused the floor to settle, and the tiles popped. And there's several of these, well, including these busted ones, that uh, that became disassociated. You can see here where the tile grout. It's come loose because these things are shifting. And yeah, they're probably going to pull up pretty easy, just like that. Because this whole floor just... Oh, crap. Oh, uh, yeah, see how it cracked? Cracks. So we're going to pull up the tiles that are loose. Hold on, we got to move the table out of here. We're going to pull up the tiles that are loose, and then uh, scrape them up, put them back down with some fresh mortar. And hopefully they'll hold this time. What half-ass cockeyed contractor put this floor together. I don't know, I wonder who. A tile project begins at 8.20. What the hell? What the hell just happened here? 95% of these tiles had issues. I'm trying to figure out what I did wrong. Um, I don't know. We had pretty good contact. The only thing I could figure is I didn't use a bonding adhesive on this. I didn't use the Admix bonding adhesive. We were laying this in the winter time and it was cold, cold, cold. So I just don't think it got a good bite in addition to the floor settling because the floor definitely settled. That was painfully apparent. This sucks. This sucks eggs because this is uh, really going to put, I did not expect this much tile to come up. This is going to put a hitch in our giddy up. And of course, me being the genius that I am, I left my tile spacers at home. You know, and town is town is 40 minutes away. So uh, we're not going to stick any tile tonight. Oh yeah. 9.30. Hi everybody! 
Got everything mostly swept up. We'll do a final sweep tomorrow. So what else do you do at 10 o'clock? Do you take it easy? Hi everybody. Do you take it easy? Nah, we're gonna go play with our bikes for a little bit. Wrench on the bikes, have a few beers. Ooh, maybe even uh, visit old granddad. Old granddad, yeesh. Holy crap, there's bikes everywhere. <laughs> and we're only gonna add more. We're only gonna add more to this mess. What the hell? Wipes. Got lawn tractors, two wheelers, three wheelers, four wheelers, chargers, scooters, little Yamahas, LED headlights, so kids can ride them at night. The Polaris two wheel drive. The Suzuki 230. Yep. 230. There's an ATC 90 back there. This is the KLT 250. The old MTD. A couple of dirt bikes. There's an RM 125. There's a YZ 125. There's a CR 250. YZ, right? Yammer Hacker. Yeah. Um, behind the corner there is a YZ 100. Super rare. That one back there. And then there's a little. It's like a 76 YZ 100. Cherry. Aluminum tank. Aluminum tank, original tires. That's why that one sits under a cover. And that's a, like a 100, some piece of crap, 100. Total death trap, but it's awesome. <laughs> ah, that's not too bad. Two minutes ago, that engine was stuck. This CR, this is a CR250 and 80, 81, left hand, <coughs> left hand kick, and the first engine was just first stuck. Water close, first kick, it just fired. I know, you got, you got it going before I had a chance to get out of here and get your start. Ooh, but the engine was stuck. This thing's <laughs> probably sat seven years. Sat a long time. Many years. At least seven years, I'd imagine, and, uh. Shot a little lubricant, <coughs> a little starting fluid in the cylinder. <coughs> Put a wrench on the crank. Took that cover off there. Put a wrench on the crank and got it to spin again. And there you go, it fired. All the oil obviously is burned off. Well, hopefully, go take it for a ride. It's not that dark out there. E tape and a flashlight. <laughs> <laughs> what could go wrong? Oh, yeah, at least it's not raining anymore. Wet pavement on these knobs. Clutch is probably a little grabby. Yeah. That starts up good. I always run with a melt crate on the back of this thing anyway, because it's a workhorse. This is not a speed racer. I think top speed on this is like 18 miles an hour. It's a little tractor. So I've always run with a melt crate. So I went and put the uh, deep cycle gel battery in there. As I showed you before, socket on and off, turn the battery on and off. It's pretty cool. So I removed the existing battery and clamp completely, tied it into the existing wiring. Bada bing. Sounds like a champ. It's cold though. See my breath. I'm gonna go for a ride. Let's go take this thing for a ride, see what it can do. Holy crap, it's cold! <laughs> I probably should have worn a jacket. <laughs> it's almost midnight. That's yeah, 8 minutes to 12 on Friday night. It's Miller time. It was on sale. What are you going to do? Hi, everybody. Nice cold beer. Tomorrow we're going to be out of the house 7 a.m. Get into town, do our shopping. <sighs> All right, day one of the long weekend is down. <laughs>